finally we have gotten through 16 duels in this tournament and 16 decks have been knocked out never to be played with again on this channel that means we have the 16 best and brightest starting off with red eyes against atlanteans you know winner of fight club versus well red eyes they have dragoon what else do you need to say i guess we're gonna have at it and see who can pull ahead you do have red eyes and i think you have the deck advantage so we'll see how that plays out for you but atlanteans can't just be doubted they have a chance um unfortunately i think their strengths don't really count to red eyes but we'll see how it all goes Ooh, and you forced me into turn one and you forced me into turn one when my hand is not ideal but mm -hmm. we'll see what we can do I, red eyes I, as much as i would love to go dragoon right now i feel like giving you turn one against a turn two deck is better yeah i understand so draw two cards that might be necessary oh. i'm gonna play it, desperately let's go what ha what happened what happened did happen as i thought people were saying man in the comments of that video people were like man dragoon is just too broken <laughs> yeah but you know it's a staple of red eyes now so we gotta live in dragoon's world all right and turn nothing too extravagant going here no neptibus no deep sea diva no search for it um we're uh a little light and it's a matchup where atlanteans can't be going this light but maybe red eyes are even weaker let's go all right let's see what i can do dead hand let's dead red eyes hand i know it might seem unlikely but it's possible guys all right allure of darkness oh, i thought he was gonna discard his whole hand there darn i'm gonna get rid of my blackstone of legend okay then i am going to activate my cards of the redstone which will make me discard my regular red eyes to draw even two more cards so you're saying he opened with draw power okay not a good a sign lot of it. not a good sign a lot of it <laughs> now i gotta hope that you don't have a field clear yep you sure do then i'm, I'm gonna play a red eyes alt my alternative black dragon by discarding my retro dragon okay so we got an alternative out there one level seven to the field Ooh, two level sevens to the field this could be annoying Ooh, the red eyes darkness dragon even makes an appearance okay yeah i, I, I gotta it. have I a copy of him in my in a lot of my decks just for fun yeah because you never know but you might like this silo claw Paramos. oh my god it's not gonna be enough but it's gonna be scary Ooh. yeah it's just if i had one more dra like two one or two more dragons that might have made the difference yeah Three more dragons, be... and or I guess it would have had to be four more dragons. That being said, no, but no, he... no, because remember the red eyes also get the red. Oh yeah, he gains that. So yeah, it would be uh, two more. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, three more. Can't do math. Okay, lovely. Oh, now, I don't have. I did all that instead of just going straight into dragoon, like I could have. <laughs> oh, you could have gone into dragoon. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's because I had options to search out the, uh, search out the red ice fusion instead. Yeah. Um, can this play enough? This lets me add stuff to the hand, but it doesn't summon the stuff. Um, and I can send a Dragoons to the graveyard, which then, when this is sent to the graveyard to activate my, uh, Abyss Spikes effect, I get to add a Sea Serpent Monster from my deck to hand, which is fantastic. Bet I need to play my effects right now, so Desperation Draws, let's go. I've played... If you look at my graveyard, you can see how desperate this duel has been for me. Uh, but let's do what we must. Uh, I have Neptibus, finally. So we can activate that and send to the graveyard Lantian Dragoons. That will allow me to add to my hand. Well, I don't know what I can do to save this all, but we'll add heavy infantry. And this will add in a way of getting everything I'd like to get. Abyss Megalo is not exactly going to cut it either. Mm. That's not going to do a ton. Do I have a means of destroying you? Not precisely. 
I don't think I can normal summon here, which is bad. Some of my lapis dragon. Is there any desperate plays? Man, this would be a great deck for Anima right now. But it's not in here. It's not in here. I'm sitting with a level one on the field and you in the wrong zone, but I don't have an Anima in the deck. It's all water themed. All right. I do, however, have surface, which if I'm able to get a water monster to the graveyard, I can make some plays happen. Not a lot of plays, but plays. So I guess we're going to add something to the hand that can get rid of things. It might still be Abyss Megalo's turn to play. But I don't know what's going to come of it. Because I'd love to get Deep Sea Diva to the grave. But yeah, I'm not sure. So we have that, which means... Oh, actually, this might be perfect. Because Abyss Megalo, I forgot the main effect of Heavy Infantry. One, one thing I am sad I didn't get to do, though. Mm -hmm. Attack you with that much. And then just get one more. And then just get one more. And then just get one more, uh, what is it? One more level seven out. Mm -hmm. Or get two level sevens out and just end with the darkness metal. Just so yeah. you just start burning yourself so close. Very much so. Yeah, indeed, I cannot yeah. normal summon here, so that's a problem. Um, I can tribute this and I can make a second attack, but that's not really a good idea either, is it? So... You really were banking on the destruction effect, huh? Yeah, well, you know, when I found it, I was like, oh, this could be a chance. Oh, wait, no, we have something. We have something. Now, since I have my heavy infantry on the field, I have an additional summon, which can be used for Deep Sea Diva. Deep Sea Diva can then special summon. Um, well, I don't have my Poseidra yet, and that was kind of important. So we can force a Poseidra. I don't think it's going to have the effect I need at the moment, but we can maybe get there if I completely pull something so out comes the trident and this means yeah i still need to use trident to get my poseidra in play um tributing man i don't know get out of here neptibus so he can come out and play oh wait i could have done a little more if i had um tributed my abyss megalo instead but don't your monsters lose 300 attack for then or what oh i lose 300 attack okay I thought that I it's, thought that was your cost. Fun. You be targeted. Yeah, I guess since you're playing a little wonky, I gotta play a little wonky too. So my um, main play here was to uh, get my Poseidon sent to the graveyard, then get rid of these three, so that I can get it back. But we have two level sevens, so let's have some fun. Oh no, Silo, yeah. you monster! Right now, will I still have the equip card? I will. Not quite the same even, power and thrill. Even but. if even if you lost the equip card somehow and all that, that wouldn't still enough attack power, right? Um, oh no, that's right. You can only attack with the monster you stole, right? Oh, can I? Well, I know I can't attack with Big Eye. Yeah, only Big Eye can't attack. Okay. So I just need to get myself another few attack points on the field. Now I can. No, you should have enough. Oh wait, no, that's right. Zero attack infantry, right? I thought yeah. that 16 was attack points right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, most of my other options to go into don't have a lot of physical uh, damage implied upon them. But I could get... Ooh, this might make all that difference. I could get him a Star Boy just to boost a couple things up. Yeah. So we're going to turn these two into a Miss Star Boy. Which still... Yep, going to be enough. Okay. So let's make the most out of this. I think it's safe to say, uh, don't go easy on this deck anymore. So that if I Red Eyes Fusioned, if I would have Red Eyes Fusioned and set up that thing, I would have negated that one card that would have broken your chain. Maybe. If I do remember something about Atlanteans is that when I break a chain, it you, can be it bad. It First can, or second? Yeah. Uh, go second again. You want to go second? Yeah. Okay. No dead hands, no dead hands. Well, not dead. Actually, pretty good. So, we'll start with Deep Sea Diva. Yeah. So we can get our basic plays moving with this hand. I don't know if they stop your big plays, but we're gonna move and try some things out. Oh, what do you got right now? Jeez. Waiting on you. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna activate this. Oh, okay. Which will allow me to special summon. That's fine by me. I'll probably be able to get rid of it. 
And we have an additional normal summon. So let's make it the uh, Atlantean Prince. We all know what's happening here. He will send to the graveyard Dragoons. It's Dragoon versus Dragoon battle. All right, adding to my hand, I think it's got to be a Poseidra, although the timing of Poseidra doesn't really work fantastically against your deck. But we'll see what we can do. Maybe I can even get a call of the Atlanteans play moving strong. But we need to get a Poseidra somewhere, so we'll make it happen. And maybe I could even do a big Moulin Glacier play. I think I might be able to pull a Moulin Glacier play. Let's rock. Let's try to make that happen. Because that would be a means of doing significant damage to you. Now, if I get your goon sent to the graveyard, that's pretty good as well. And I think it'll be the right move. So, let's try things. Activating Abyss Megala will send Dragoons and Poseidra to the grave. So we got just a big boy there. He can then, I believe, get the Abyss Scale to the hand. And we can add to my hand. Uh, why would I not do a Lapis Dragon? Because I could need to set up some place for next turn, possibly. And, ooh, darn it. Wait, no, I should be golden right here. Uh, yeah, let's set up place for next turn. Let's get another Deep Sea Diva. Unless, can you do a uh, double mulling glacier? Okay, you can only do it once a turn. Otherwise, I would discard your whole hand and it would be funny. But we will not be doing that. And we will That be... might actually, sh that would actually shut me down turn one if you did that. Yeah, sure would. Um, but yeah, we're going to grab a Deep Sea Diva to hope that it's going to be enough for my next turn of plays. We're going to summon Poseidra just to get these three into the graveyard. And, oh yeah, I need to forego Neptibus's effect unless I can get someone else to the grave here, which I don't believe I can. So we'll start with this. That's obvious. Uh, you can go ahead and return nothing to hand. And I could special summon. Oh, I have to special summon? I can still make this work. So we will put out this heavy infantry again. Why not? All right, so I have four water monsters in the graveyard. And we have Maria of Avarice. No, I have to banish for that to happen. Ooh. What if I equip him with this now? Can he activate his effect? Not yet. Hmm. This is trickier than I thought it would be. I need a way to get... I really want to use my uh, Moulin Glacier right here, because if I limit a Red Eye's hand, then we're looking pretty good. But I could do a bit better. Um, ooh, or I can do this. And get your face up monsters isn't going to stop you, really. What if I... Can I do anything fun? Detach material... I need to find a way to send one more water to the graveyard. If I go into one of my Link monsters, I do not immediately get any repay for it. During the opponent's turn, I can send one card, but that's not going to do it. And if I do Marincess, target one thing with my graveyard, I guess that will be enough. So let's be desperate. Use you and you. Activate. Bring back. Um, I guess we'll just do heavy infantry. Why not? I think everyone's already used their effect times and times over. So now Morning Glacier gets to play. Hello. Uh, oh, great. I put a bunch of red eyes in your graveyard. Still, getting rid of your black metal dragon is valuable. So I won't be upset by that. Um, with these two level... Oh, it's a level eight, so I can't go much harder on that. But I'd like to draw two cards. Why not? We'll do this and banish you. And nah, I'm not going to Maria of Greed when I have a Deep Sea Diva in my hand. That would be a little irresponsible. So I'll end turn there with no grand plays on how this is going to go. And just hope you don't have everything you need. Um, it's three cards, so it could go either way. But I can't, don't exactly have a way to stop your spells with this deck. Just I can I get do, rid of the set ones. I do hate that, that you did get rid of all that. But you don't have any negates, so... Nope. Part of the cards. Okay, so you get something out. Of course, Silo. Oh yeah, it just happens. Neat. I forgot that effect. I don't use this too much. Not no, that. you really don't. Hey. <laughs> Ow. Okay, last video, uh, Exodia got defeated. I was disappointed. This one, I'm surprised. 
so, draw phase, you'll move. Let's see what's happening. But. Uh, nothing! He's got nothing! Well. Huh. Can we turn it all through here? Um, we're going to use Anemone to get out. See if this guy can do anything. Yep. And the plays go through. We can add to my hand, I guess, all the Atlanteans to be safe. Oh, wait, we still have normal summon too, don't we? I should have thought of that. All right, add to my hands. Lapis Dragon. Free I summon. Could, I, had, I had nothing to normal summon. Yeah. This is fantastic. This is swell. Let's even get rid of these guys. Who cares? It's just water monsters. Murray have greeted them away. Another Mulan Glacier. Who needs a hand over there? Not for you. And battle. Thanks, Mulan Glacier. Now, um... I feel weird because this deck wasn't supposed to win this match, but it simply did in triumphant manner. So I think we can say sea serpents are moving ahead. But yeah, in this I played sense, I I played around too much. I had the in my starting hand of the first duel, I did have the uh, the red eyes red eyes fusion to immediately mm -hmm. just go into dragoon, which might have yielded different it, results. Yeah, which might have been my fault. I shouldn't have played around. Because mm -hmm. I wanted to, because I wanted to just go one attack, see if I can get enough to the graveyard, and just do enough attack points to finish the game, kind of deal. It was the more fun play, so at least in this match, I'm going to say we can do one more. Actually, not that it's going to guarantee change anything, um, but you know, if I win this one, Sea Serpents deserved the win the whole time, and if not, so be it. Would you like me to go first? I guess. Okay. That's not going to be changing anytime, so. Yeah. All right, we're going to start very similarly as before and summon Neptibus. Neptibus will then send to the graveyard Dragoons and add to my hand uh, Heavy Infantry. Now, can I get that Heavy Infantry summoned at all? I don't know, but let's add it. So it doesn't look like I have fantastic opener here. But we're gonna desperately play because we have an Abyssius, we have a Moray of Greed. Um, in fact, just to try to stop you, I don't have a lot of plays to do so. Um, I'm instead of grabbing a Deep Sea Diva, hoping I make it to next turn, we're gonna grab a Mulan Glacier, hoping I can facilitate that again, because that was nice. So this will allow me to add another Water Monster to hand. That's probably the best thing I can do in this given situation. It will f require me to discard a Water Monster though. So we're going to start with Murray of Greed. And that will shuffle him back into the deck. So we're actually going to forgo that. And we're going to send Poseidra back because he can't do anything yet right now. So maybe we'll even hold on to Abystius and we'll send Poseidra and Heavy Inventory back despite them being like two of the more necessary cards. Because I have very specific goals here. And well, they are currently uh, lining as good as I could, they can, I suppose. So we'll activate this, send to the graveyard. We do have a deep sea diva now that we can hold on to, um, but we will send to the graveyard. Sidra. And this will allow me to add another thing to the hand. Now, these both require a little extra. This one's normal summoned. I get to discard a water monster and add stuff from my deck to hand. Great. This one it's discarded and um, I get other good things. So. We'll grab that for now, but I don't think I'm going to get to play any more discarding effects. I can play this and have a actually half decent spell negate, or we can try to get the uh, Coral Anemone out. If I do that, I will not be able to get my Mermail moving. So what are the other options? I could go into the Abyssal Asia, and during opponent's turn, I could send a card to the graveyard, get a Mermail monster out, but I can't quick play anything. I do Miss Starboy. Then that's only two sent to the graveyard, and I can't really go any further. I... Yeah, I don't see any way to play around with this to make it so I can get my Mullen Glacier out. So we're just going to play very, um... Very much nothing. And we'll just put this on you. So you got at least that going for you. You can beat a Red Eyes in a fight. And we'll end the turn there and see what happens. Doesn't look good. Okay. Well, I can do this. Red Eyes Insight. Does this automatically negate it, though? I think it does. 
get the cost at least. Yeah, which is n not optimal. I mean, having red eyes in your graveyard is always a good thing. But yeah, no, being no, able no, to meaning like, no, like my hand in general. Yeah. So that's kind of the you know best play I could ask for there. Just one un target <laughs> unplanned negate because I know red eyes rely on their spells so much. They do. Um. Oh gosh. It's okay. that bad, Zylo. I might as well tell you since I think you can one t one turn K. Probably yes. Because, because of your weird shenanigans. I had a red eyes, the red eyes darkness. By the all three duels, I've started off with red my one copy, by the way, in my hand. Unfortunate. A dark magician and a second copy of red eyes insights. Well. If okay. I any of the other red eyes spell cards in the deck, I could have kept playing. But no, yeah. it had to be a second copies of insight. And you even can't though play the to ruling, a turn. Even though the ruling is if a card gets negated, it doesn't count towards the ones per turn ruling that they made like last year or so, the programming still makes it so that I can't play another Yeah, it's one. really never been, that ruling's never been the case for us. Which is yeah. weird, but. Yeah, because I remember when we first looked at that ruling, it's like. We were like, what? That's not a thing. We play Yu-Gi-Oh all the time. Yeah, yeah obviously we play on the programs where that's very much not a thing. Um, yeah. Well, shall I add to my hand now? We have three of them in the graveyard. We can add, uh, is there a Poseidra in play here? There's two Poseidras in play here. Lovely. Anything else fun? I guess we'll just get a Lapis Dragon, because why not? Activate it. Summon it. Good stuff. I think I can safely go for a Poseidra play here. And then everybody's effect gets to go off. Up oh, didn't mean to target you, but that's okay. And then Mullen Glacier can come out. Like, at least I'm playing well with the Atlantean deck to win. So that's, you know, some recompense, but even so, it's a bad day for Red Eyes. And anything else to spice things up a little bit? Uh, who has low attack here? Well, we can get a little more out of the game just by getting ourselves. We want another summon, or do we want more attack? Guess more attack, so we'll get him a star boy out for onesies. And use you, and I suppose you, just so we have another level 7 if it can come down to it. Because it doesn't look like we have the... Oh wait, no, we should have the win, assuming that's not a crazy amount of defense. So we'll attack you with Abistius. And Miss Starboy. And yep, we have 200 over. Not to mention, we would have used these two level 7s to go into our Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Um, but no need. Poseidra, finish him off. And, yeah, despite everything, Sea Serpents actually earned their victory here. So, well, good for them. They have an uphill battle in this tournament, safe to say. Atlantean's always been a good deck, but Dragoon is oppressive. Um, but not today, he's not. So... Sorry, Mario, but hopefully you guys all enjoyed this match. If you have, leave a like on the video. Let us know how much you love or hate Dragoon in the comments below. And, you uh, lost your Exodia. I lost Red Eyes. I think that's a fair trade. Yeah, I mean, we're both, we're both having a bad day, but we'll see you all next time. See ya, folks.